number one, uh, and, and most important, uh, our hearts go out to the families who have lost loved ones. Obviously, uh, you know, their world has been torn apart, and uh, we need to make sure that uh, everybody who's lost a loved one knows uh, they're in our thoughts and prayers. We are here for you, uh, and we will not forget, we will follow up to make sure that you get all the help that you need until you rebuild. Then you're reminded about what America is all about. You know, we go through tough times, but we bounce back. The reason we bounce back is uh, because uh, we look out for one another, uh, and we don't leave anybody behind. That same spirit uh, will carry over all the way through until uh, our work is done. Chris Christie going on a, uh, several uh, morning talk shows, uh, all the networks and several cable shows, to praise uh, President Obama for what he's done new for New Jersey. What he, he said, give him credit where credit's due. We've been able to get supplies, food, medicine, uh, water, uh, emergency generators to ensure that hospitals uh, and uh, law enforcement offices are able to stay up and running uh, as they are out there responding. He obviously feels Obama's uh, doing a good job so far. And the president has been all over this and he deserves great credit. There is no ideology in a storm like this. In this country, we look out for one another. We have each other's backs. Because despite our differences, we are Americans first. And that's what Americans do. The 47% who are with him, who are dependent upon government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they are entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. 47% of Americans pay no income tax. And, uh, and so my job is not to worry about those people. I'm not concerned about the very poor. And I think there are lots of very poor Americans who are struggling who would say, that sounds odd. Can you explain that? It's not good being poor. You can focus on the very poor. It's not my focus. 1.3% don't pay any income taxes because uh, they have capital gains and dividend rates. This is how Mitt Romney doesn't pay income taxes. They want your vote, but they don't want you to know their plan. And that's because all they have to offer is the same prescriptions they've had for the last 30 years. Feel a cold coming on? Take two tax cuts, roll back some regulations, and call us in the morning. I think Americans just don't know sometimes which Mitt Romney they're dealing with.
preserve and protect a woman's right to choose. The right next step in the, in the fight to preserve the sanctity of life is to see Roe v. Wade overturned. He was pro-choice, then he's pro-life. There you go again. You're only allowed a certain number of flips before people begin to doubt your character. Washington politicians who want to decide who you can marry or control health care choices that women should be making for themselves. You have a president who represents my values and my rights. In the three and a half years he's been in office, women truly have come first. They drove the car into the ditch, made it as difficult as possible for us to pull it back. Now they want the keys back. No! <laughs> you can't drive! We don't want to have to go back into the ditch! We just got the car on! By carrying Ohio, he wins re-election. The President of the United States defeats Mitt Romney in this, uh, at this time right now. We have made this projection, so the President wins this battle for the White House. <laughs> to work hard. It doesn't matter who you are, or where you come from, or what you look like, or where you love. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white, or Hispanic, or Asian, or Native American, or young, or old, or rich, or poor, able, disabled, gay, or straight. You can make it here in America if you're willing to try. I believe we can seize this future together. Because we are not as divided as our politics suggest. We're not as cynical as the pundits believe. We are greater than the sum of our individual ambitions. And we remain more than a collection of red states and blue states. We are and forever will be the United States of America. And together, with your help and God's grace, we will continue our journey forward and remind the world just why it is that we live in the greatest nation on earth. Thank you, America. God bless you. God bless these United States. Uh, I have one question for the president. I wanted to ask you, can you teach me that walk? That walk? <laughs> that, that's a special presidential walk.